Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mac if you're new here and today we're going to be talking about SEO keyword research. I'm going to be sharing with you the ways that I find keywords for my tags and titles on Etsy. I'm going to be using a software and showing you how to use it too to really optimize your Etsy listings and get the most out of your SEO because that is the most important thing and how you're going to show up on the search pages on Etsy. Now, before I get started with this video today, everything I talk about will be linked in the description below. And if you are not already subscribed to my channel, consider doing so. I post videos talking about e-commerce, selling on Etsy, digital products, and so much more. So if that interests you, join our community here on YouTube and feel free to follow me on my social media accounts, which I also share lots of valuable information and tips that you won't find on here. So let's get right into it. I'm going to talk a little bit about SEO and share with you how I do that research. SEO stands for search engine optimization and this is how your listings and products are going to show up in the Etsy search when a customer searches for something and this also is going to be how your things pop up on Google because listings that are on Etsy are also going to pop up on Google. So if somebody types in Christmas sweater on Google and Etsy listings will pop up for that. So this is just going to be how you are ranking and and that's pretty much a huge part because if you're not showing up on somebody's search when they are searching for your item, you're not gonna get a sale. So this is very, very important and I'm super excited to make this video because I know it is highly, highly requested. Now, the software that I'm gonna be using and showing you how to use today is called Sale Samurai. This is basically a way you can link your Etsy shop with this extension and it is going to be a Chrome extension for you. It is going to do your search research for you and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. So as you can see here, I do have Sale Samurai pulled up now this is the very first page once you create an account and sign in so this is going to be some tutorials for you which is absolutely great that they have this and it just kind of shows you how to use everything that they offer and they're quick little youtube tutorial videos that you can just click it'll start playing and as you can see they're only like three minutes long which is great because it shows you to the point how to use it they have the shops thing which is how you're going to be able to integrate your etsy shop directly through here so it'll tell you things about your listings um, and then we have the search which i'm going to show you how to use in just a moment um, competition tracker and so much more that you can use here including the chrome extension which i will also share with you so if we go over here to the search option now i already have a search typed in here i typed in nurse sweatshirt so let's say you are in the nurse niche or whatever your niche is you would type in something along the lines of that in a basic search and this is what will pop up now as you can see here it is showing us basically the etsy search volume the click rate and it is also showing the competition. Now this is showing high competition. Most things that you type in here are going to show high competition, but I'm gonna share with you in a moment why that is not something to worry about because you can still find keywords for this niche. It's also gonna be showing you the Google search volume and the Google competition because like I was mentioning earlier, everything that's on Etsy does show up on Google when typed in on a Google search. If you scroll down here, it's gonna show the suggested search keywords. And it's also going to show us tags that it recommends that we use along with the Etsy search volume for those tags. So as we can see here, nurse sweatshirt, it is showing up high for a few things. So just nurse sweatshirt in general is showing up high. Um, but if we scroll down, as you can see here, nurse to be sweatshirt is showing low, which is what we want. We we want something that is having searches but is low competition meaning that not a lot of people have listings for those items so if i were to create a nurse sweatshirt i would use a nurse to be sweatshirt so you know becoming a nurse targeting people who are studying to be a nurse and this would be one of the first keywords that i would use in my title because as we know there is a search for it and there is a low competition so that is kind of how you would use this platform to see what exactly keywords you should do and then you can keep scrolling down and like for an example for a title so the first word let's say you're doing a nurse to be sweatshirt your first long tail keyword would be nurse to be sweatshirt comma sweatshirt for nurse because then as we see down here sweatshirt for nurse is being searched for and it also is having a lower competition um which is great 
And you can obviously keep searching here um, and just kind of go down and see what exactly is being searched for. So like dialysis nurse sweatshirt, there's a Halloween nurse sweatshirt that's being searched for. And just kind of go ahead and use this for your keywords. And this also is like great design inspiration too, because if you want to break into, you know, a, a niche like the nurse field, um, there are different ways to kind of niche within the niche which i know i've talked about in videos before but that's an example of that is having dialysis nurse sweatshirt things on your shop instead of just basic um nurse sweatshirts that can fall under all those categories if you niche down a little bit then you have a better chance of getting a sale because there's people searching for it but there's low competition now over here same thing there's going to be all of the tags that they recommend and tags are on your Etsy listing, which also help Etsy understand what it is exactly that you're selling. So when looking at the tags over here, you do want to look at the search volume because that is important. So lots of people are searching for registered nurse, gifts for nurse, and you just kind of use this and keep going along. And I honestly, what I do is I start a note section and I just save all of this, or you can even take a screenshot of this, um, whatever works for you. But I do a note section and I just like separate on my computer and I type in or copy and paste the words that I want to use and then I'll go back and see which one should go first and that just helps you create a killer title that's going to rank you way higher. Now I'm going to hop over to Etsy and show you how the Chrome extension works. To set up the Chrome extension I'm not going to go over because if you do get Sales Samurai there is a really quick tutorial on how to do that and it's super easy. So I'm going to run over to Etsy and show you how that works in the Chrome extension. As you can see here it popped up and showing us the number of search volumes. So nurse sweatshirt has 108, um, comfort colors 39. So that's all of the little search volumes here, which is so helpful um, again in that SEO. And then if you go over here and you click 500 more, now this is awesome. I think this is so cool. So I clicked the broadest term, but that's okay. I can still kind of show you what I'm talking about here. So this is going to show the ex all of the different words, and then it's going to show the search volumes for them and the competition and how many words are in there. So you can literally click them and it'll take you down to all of the different stuff. And I just think this is so great. And I also want to show you something too with the Etsy switch uh, with the Etsy search Chrome extension. So we'll type in nurse sweatshirt again. And then what you can do is you can go here to all filters and you can go over and you can actually do this to best seller. So this is really helpful because if you do that and then you hit apply, Etsy is going to show you the best selling nurse sweatshirts for right now. So as you can see, they all have the popular now or best seller badge. And you can kind of look at this and look for trends in your design as well. So this is a great way to, if you're doing design research is to kind of see, okay, what are the colors here? What are the themes? So like I'm seeing a lot of muted colors. So I'm seeing like these basic light pastel muted colors. Um, I, I've seen three listings with those. So if I were to design for this niche, that is what I would implement. So see how these colors are nice and light and pretty. Also keep seeing these fun retro fonts. I believe that font is called Keep On Trucking. I know lots of people always ask that um, when I post short term video content about this. Um, this font right here is called Keep On Trucking, but you do want to make sure that you have the correct license for it. Um, and you can find it on I think Creative Fabrica um, or Creative Market. I'll leave Creative Market link below. But anyway, so you can see here that the colors are kind of these muted colors. That's kind of what I would go after. But this is just another great way to filter that out just so you can see what exactly you know are the best selling listings, what people are really buying. So you're probably wondering, do you have to pay to use Sales Samurai? And you do. It is $10 a month to use it. But again, it is giving you lots of different ways to do that research and I am going to have a code for you in the description below to get 20% off which is a great deal and you will also have a free trial just to try it out and see if it's for you because I know there are other options but this has been my favorite since I started using it just because it has so many different features especially being able to look at your competition when you have your Etsy shop linked in there um, so yeah that will be linked in the description for you along with the code and if you have any questions about Sales Samurai, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I really hope this video was helpful to you. Again, if you are not subscribed, please consider doing so. It helps support the channel and helps me to stay motivated to create more videos just like this one. And I hope to see you in the next video.